And I don't think Carvana is as big of a deal in Canada as it is in the United States, right? No. Not a big deal at all. Okay. Um, but obviously in the United States, it's a huge deal. Like everybody keeps on their, like in March, their share price is at $20. Now it's at 80. Yeah. But even the markets are starting to say, well, this makes a lot of sense. Um, and people used to poo-poo and say exactly that. Well, they're one price and they can't make any money. And now they make like $3,000 a copy. And then they'd say like, well, yeah, but you know, but they're not profitable. And then they're like, yeah, but they're pouring their profit into opening up more centers. Um, but all at the basis of it is a prerequisite that they say no to people that don't want to do business their way. If you walked in, you're like, hey, I'd like to do business the old fashioned way and negotiate. They're like, cool, go find another dude. Like, that's not what we do. The same we thing with Tesla. Like, he, he, and I could tell you my one price. What's that? <laughs> We could start at MSRP and then I could just tell you the price that I was going to give you anyways. Just yeah, so if you feel like, yeah, <laughs> it's the same, same thing with Tesla. Like people are like, oh my God, how does Tesla sell and deliver a car? Well, Tesla says, if you want to buy a car the old school way, then you're not on brand with us. You're not like, that is not the tribe we're trying to create here. Yeah. So go find uh, someone else. I think the key there is brand. See, I, I think what, you know, Sarah, correct me if I'm wrong here. Okay, so please do. Um, you know, uh, as far as FAF's perspective on this, is you guys defined how you want to be perceived, right? And to be perceived a certain way, all right, it was going to be one price. That was it. Like we, we, I mean, you want to be perceived as an easy company to do business with, all right, that this was not going to be a, you know, four and a half hour long transaction, right? This can be, you know, a short transaction if you feel like you want to do a short transaction. But, you know, to do that, it's like uh, to be on brand and on point like that, you just had to draw a line in the sand. Say, this is, this is how it is. And that, that means a lot, but I think what it is, a lot of dealerships haven't defined what their brand is. They don't know how they want to be perceived. 